What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and welcome back to another video. Um, we're going to be playing a ranked match today. Uh, I don't know why the my summoner uh, mod just like not really working that well right now. So that's why I don't have that on. I haven't played ranked in like two weeks, so I think just the raising of the K has just brought me down, and I'm down to third. Donkey and Rodswing will jump me. So uh, I'll still make a go, even though I'm not playing as much of late. I will still make a go um, at the Raiden Decay times, try to, whoops, not that, still make a go at trying to get uh, those weekly winter badges. Um, so today, I actually didn't even decide what deck I want to use for this video. I think I'm going to choose Mono Decay because I think I have the most fun when I play Mono Decay. Um, my current Mono Decay deck, See, it's, well, I mean, all these decks are like like a month old at least. Well, this one's three weeks old. Uh, see, I don't know. Uh, I haven't played a lot of scrolls recently, so I don't know what the meta is looking like. Maybe this isn't a good deck right now. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. And I guess I'll be back when the match is found. All right, found a match. Let's join it. See who we're going up against. Noodles underscore. Hello and good luck. Have fun to you. Um. Not sure if I've ever faced Noodles underscore. Just gonna go search him up on Scrolls Guide. Uh, okay, so um, only 333 matches for this guy, but he does have a s above 1600 rating, and he was won like over 60% of his matches. So I don't know, maybe this is an alt account. Um, maybe just be a pretty good player. I'm going to definitely keep his hand, especially facing growth. Uh. I can go two, three. Hmm. I think I can get with the early loyal Darkling, considering I have a lot of other creatures in my hand. Against growth, I want the health out. Mudo Fighter is also uh, good against like late game growth because quakes and frost scales aren't going to deal damage to it. Here's a Kinfolk Brave, which I will promptly languid instead of playing the Elmire Trisman. I do love the Blight Bear. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the tribesmen and keep hold of the blight bear because I don't see myself playing the tribesmen because next turn I'm probably going to play the Mudo fighter and then the following turn I can damn curse whatever he puts down whatever his four drop is or actually five drop um, and the one damage from the damn curse uh, on my own units would not deal any damage to Mudo fighter because he has magic resistance too. Oh no, this is physical damage. No, no, magic damage. And uh, then I can follow up with the Life Stealer. Okay, hopefully this isn't one of those crazy enchantment decks. If it is, at least I have something to, to deal with that in just a second. I'm going to get rid of the Blight Bearer here. Or, I probably shouldn't actually. Just in case there's nothing for me to damage curse. And he gets just puts like a Verdant Veil on this. Um... Life Stealer. I kind of want to. I'll get rid of the Languid. I don't see myself uh, being able to play the Languid with all these nice creatures in my hand. I want to keep both Life Stealers. I can rattle them off back to back after I play this Damning Curse, I think. Again, or I could play the Blight Bearer this turn. If um, I think I'll be Damning Cursing, though. The one problem with a Damning Curse is that it leaves this open to a Kinfolk Veteran the next turn. Which, uh, I don't really like. Okay, Earthen Mirth. I'm just gonna go ahead and. Yeah, I'm just gonna damage curse that. Um, I'll get rid of. The Blight Bear. And let's just kill that. Um, I'm not gonna bother moving up in case he has, like, a Crimson Bull or another Earthen Mirth. Now hopefully he doesn't have a Kinfolk Veteran. Only two scrolls in hand. Chances are he doesn't have it. Wouldn't be the end of the world if he does though. I think I'm looking good in this match. That Damon Curse killed a couple of his guys. He goes to five and there is a... So that was odd. He went to five resources to play a four drop and now he has no scrolls in hand. Um, that's usually not very wise. Uh, this turn I'm going to play... Get rid of the Rod Eater and just play Life Stealer. And protect this guy. And deal some metal damage. 
Soul Steel is amazing for its growth, so I'm going to keep that. Rotter is very nice too, but I'd rather just keep the strong life stealer as the creature. Alright, um. I could get some massive value with a Soul Steel and a Blight Seed this turn. I think I'm going to do that. So I'll go for resources. I will. Soul Steel. Alright. Yep, so it's looking good for me right now. Um, yeah, very good. I will... Eh, might as well just go for more resources. Because I can play two things this turn. Um, Brain Lace will last forever, so I'll just play that. And... Let's start to kind of move up, I guess. We have a Witch Doctor on our side, so it's looking good. I do have uh, no cards in hand now, but that uh, that Blight Seed did let me play the Witch Doctor and the Brain Life last turn on top of getting a couple cards. Alright, so he's going to not destroy Middle Idol, which means I can just easily protect it. I mean, he is Growth, so I always have to watch out for a Lucky Rumble, but yeah, I'm looking very good in this match, though. Decay versus Growth is usually much more favorable to the decay player if it's like a witch doctor creature decay type i mean sometimes when the growth growth gets where they're really strong creatures that's kind of tough um i would have rather not uh have to sacrifice this oblivion seeker but oh well i could damage curse is that worth it i don't think it is i think it's uh probably better to just Just play the Elmire Trison. Man, playing that Oblivion Secret would have been really nice. So I do kill that. Yeah, the damage curse probably just wasn't worth it for the damage I would take on my side. Also, my Meyer Shambler would die. Okie doke. Oh, yeah, that's why there's no spectators. It's a not spectatable game. Okay, we'll see what Mr. Noodles does. Mr. Noodles. Isn't he like from like Elmo's world? Mr. Noodle or something? Or when I was uh, younger, I, uh, that, was a, that was a good show. Okay, Wild Link. So I don't think this is one of those crazy enchantment decks. This is just say, well, actually maybe it is. He has Oak Blood and Earth and Earth. I don't know. Well, Earth and Earth isn't really all our growth decks. Uh... I'd rather Interesting you just played this to I'd rather not just take the damage on my side. I will destroy you deal damage there and I guess brain lice you in the back. Yeah, so the idols are looking pretty low for him, so if I top deck like a Necker again, uh, I shouldn't have much of a problem winning the game. Next turn, I'll just play the Nero. Really, just he's not going to be able to get through to my Witch Doctor without a big Relentless unit, which I won't let him have. And he didn't even deal much idol damage yet. Almost destroyed one idol in the middle, but... Yeah. So we'll see what he does here. If he wants to destroy my tribesmen, I get a husk. Or he wants to hit the idols, he'll have more attack next turn. Does look very bleak for our friend Noodles here. So it looks like he is just going to move up. Alright. 
Uh, I'm just gonna play the Nuru. Um, I'll just stay like this formation. I'm a little worried about my idols. A lucky rumble could be a problem for me. So he's the opportunity to kill some attacking creatures of mine, probably. Um, I'll get husk though. And I am going to have uh, two of my creatures attack next turn, definitely. That being the... Okay, so he is going to kill my Witch Doctor here. And all of a sudden, looks like he might have a chance at this game. Um, but I will be able to deal a lot of damage coming up. Um, so... I will kill them and use a Brainless to finish you off. Or do I finish you off? I will... actually put it on you because both of those are going to die soon anyways in one more turn and then I have a soul steal as well and I'll get husks from my, from my uh, new flush seamstress so definitely is very good that it was good for him that he was able to kill my witch doctor but I'm still looking good in this match not quite as good Kinfolk Veteran is going to allow him to destroy a couple of my humans. Hopefully my uh, husks from this new Nuru spawn towards the bottom so I can destroy these Earthborn Mystics. A Staghart. Well, that's all that Staghart changes is that he's going to be able to deal three damage to this Nuru, so I don't really mind. Well, it does actually make it so he doesn't die to a single husk, though. And... Not sure what Noodle's doing here. He's going to move up with one. Okay. And the husk, good one down there, and the other, alright, Perfect for me. Um, yep, looking uh, pretty good here. I'll keep the I'll actually keep the watcher just because I want to use it this turn. So I'll be able to likely win next turn because I can play a. Little Darkling Necrogeddon around my Watcher. I also have a. I'll also be able to use the Curse Monger's Curse. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the win here. Ooh, double double watcher, what's better? I'm not sure. Um, let's just go like this though. I'm just gonna go for the win. This probably isn't the best way to do it. Alright, that works. Alright, so that's gonna be GG. And uh, I guess uh Yeah. I'm trying to win more matches like this. My gold total's been depleting rapidly because I'm not playing that much lately, so I'm not getting that much gold. But I'm spent, alright, am I plus four? I put maybe that puts me to second. Um yeah, my gold total is going so low because every time the uh, really expensive new avatars and idols come out, I just buy them and my gold goes down. Uh, so hopefully I still have enough money for set seven or whatever, echoes. So yeah, maybe still in rank two. That'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content. 
and leave a comment below. Uh, so you can click on any of the linked videos below or check out my streaming channel. Uh, yeah, just keep on scrolling, Scrollsers. Uh, Scrolls has been very just plain right now for me, um, but once Echoes comes out, I'm sure it will be very...